Great morning, great morning, or should I say uh, great noon, champions. This is Tracy Randall, and uh, today's a session of Tracy's Arsenal, your battle plan for better health. I'm excited about the information that I'm going to share. I believe it will be life-changing, so I'm just going to wait a few minutes as people join me. I know the uh, internet is about a minute behind me, so welcome, 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 Sharon. I'm so glad that you're here. If you'll give me a thumbs up, if you can hear me okay, I'll go ahead and get started. I'm excited about the information that I'm going to share today. It will be impactful, and after you've watched and listened to this video, I really hope and pray that you will tag other women, especially moms and grandmoms of teenage girls, young girls, because the information that I'm going to share will be life-changing and life-saving. So if somebody can give me a thumbs up, welcome Susan, wake up, welcome Jan. So glad to have you as part of my Tracy's Arsenal today. We've got the Detox Diva who's joined us, lots of people joining us. Everybody can hear me, so Sharon has given me the thumbs up. So let's go, because I've got a lot of important information to share. First of all, a little bit of background about me. Again, my name is Tracy Randall, and I've actually been working alongside the American Anti-Cancer Institute for a decade. The AACI is a nonprofit that educates on the natural treatment and prevention of disease, prevention of disease, especially cancer. But just recently, some of you may not be aware of this, I've been asked to be the director of the International Wellness and Research Center, and I'm really a proud to, to be that in affiliation with the AACI. Bob Wright is the founder of both of those. He wrote the book, Killing Cancer, Not People. And it's time that we stop the madness. It's time that we stop the epidemic of disease that's happening in our families. And I believe that it's up to the moms out there, the grandmoms out there, those, those warriors who will come alongside with me, link arms and say, not on my watch. Somebody comment, hashtag, not on my watch. Those of you who have joined me today, thank you so much. I really encourage you to comment here, and after the video is over, tag a mom. What we do at the International Wellness and Research Center is we look for very simple, and this is especially my mantra, I look for very simple solutions that will impact the health of your family, not just for today, but for generations to come. I believe we all know that there's a health crisis going on out there in the world today, and it is up to us as moms and grandmoms to fight against this, to come together, to get our heads out of the sand, and stop the madness that is happening in our world today. I'm going to get right to the point today because in 2016, in December, in fact, I was introduced to a new product line that's being launched here in the United States. When I saw the product demo in a room full of over 200 people, I have to tell you, I felt my heart start to beat out of my chest. When I heard the facts about what's been happening about slowly poisoning our children, our daughters especially, and not just our daughters, I'm going to prove to you in the next 20 minutes or so why we have been not just poisoning our daughters, but our baby boys too. Our baby boys, too. This whole next generation of children don't stand a chance unless we stand up and fight. And so I saw this product demo about a company that was launching here in the United States, States and I got very excited. I knew right away that it was going to impact the health of the babies of the next generation. I'm all about helping our health today, but if we don't start raising a generation of babies that ha don't have compromised immune systems, you see, everything rises and falls in the immune system, and I'm going to talk about that. But here are some facts that I want to share, and then I'm going to offer the solutions. And there's some great solutions out there. See, I'm, I'm not about awareness campaigns that don't offer solutions. And I believe there are simple solutions that we can embrace, that we can use in our own family that will impact not just today's health, but the next generation. I see a lot of great moms have joined me. Welcome, welcome. I see we have a few fathers in the house, and that's awesome. Men need to stand up and fight the same things as well because they're our fathers. They're our husbands. They're the, they're the, the, the men that can... Um, Help, help charge the battle with us. So I'm excited to have fathers in the house, so welcome. So here's 
some of the facts that you probably already know, but I'm going to share them anyway. Yeast infections, fibroid tumors, unnecessary hysterectomies, infertility, and so many other health, uh, women's health issues are on the rise. My question to you is why? Why are they on the rise? Why is it that one in three women will suffer from a hysterectomy? And according to my resources, 60 plus percent of the hysterectomies that are being done to our young women today are unnecessary. I'm going to share that in just a moment. And, and most of the hysterectomies that are being done today are on our women ages 25 to 45 the childbearing years. So this is an epidemic that is absolutely mind-boggling. But let's talk about yeast infections, a very simple women's health issue, but it can become deadly. People say, you know, when I was growing up, we talked about yeast infections and having them, and it was usually associated during the time of our cycle, and there's a reason for that, but yeast infections are on the rise. Get this, there's a whole 60, uh, there's a whole new strain of yeast infection that's happening right now that kills up to 60% of the people it infects and is resilient to drugs. This is a frightening statistic, but it's true. Yeast are, are it's sometimes called candida. So when you hear the word candida, it's the same thing as yeast. Yeast and candida, candida, gets into our urinary tract, causing blood infections. And when candida gets into our blood, it's very difficult to get rid of, almost impossible without a lot of work. And so the best thing that we can do, I believe, in every aspect of this is to avoid these diseases. Now, yeast infections start in our genitals or, or in our mouth, but it spreads and it can be deadly. Again, it's very difficult to permanently get rid of. And what are some of the symptoms of candida? An overgrowth of candida in our system can cause fatigue, being tired, and brain fog. Guess what? Most doctors, when you go to a medical doctor, they don't look for candida. It's mostly the holistic doctors, it's the natural paths that look for the candida, the yeast. And they are typically the ones that find it. So what happens when a woman goes to the doctor and she's, her symptoms are fatigue and, and brain fog. Well, there's usually a med medication that's prescribed, but that medication typically has a worse side effect, and we get it in this endless cycle that is not good. But what are some of the causes of yeast infection? Let's talk about that. A weakened immune system provides an environment for yeast to grow. Again, Everything that you're going to hear from me really centers around the immune system. If we can have a strong immune system, if we can keep our babies having strong immune system, our daughters, our sons, our children, then we can fight off most any disease. And those are not my words. Those are the words of wellness professionals. Bob Wright, the founder of the AACI, in his book, Killing Cancer, Not People, he states, our only defense against disease, especially and even cancer, is a strong immune system. Hormonal imbalance may, uh, may, makes, makes you more likely to develop a yeast infection. Hormonal imbalance. So if you're taking notes, which I hope you will, this is hugely important because I'm gonna circle back around. Our young girls are especially prone, are getting yeast infections earlier than ever before. Earlier than ever before, before there's any sexual activity going on, before there's, you know, young girls are getting yeast infections, even babies. And there's a reason that all of this is on the rise. So what are some ways, some simple ways that we can uh, make our children, our girls especially, yes, less susceptible to yeast infections? Well, the first thing that we need to do is change from cotton underwear, panties, to synthet from the synthetic to the cotton. Cotton underwear is a huge benefit to our young girls and to, and to us women. You definitely want to stay as dry as possible. Candida grows in moist places. And again, there's new and new strains of yeast that is deadly now. The doctors have no medicines for it and 60% of the people that get it die from it. So this is an important, important issue. 
Another way that we can avoid yeast infections is in an, in an area, that area around, you know, our woman, a womanly area, is to keep it dry, to keep it dry and to allow air to circulate. And also to use non-scented scented and chemical-free feminine hygiene products, such as the sprays that we sometimes use to feel fresher. And, and you know, even the Johnson's Baby Powder, that, that, uh, that big lawsuit that happened in 2015 is just evidence that what we're putting in that area is so important because uh, Johnson's Baby Powder, the ingredients uh, were known to cause cancer, yet they allowed it in their product. And when we put it in that area of our body to feel fresher, it absorbed into our blood system. And it, and, and it has been absolutely proven to be a, at the root of some cervical and ovarian cancers. So this is hugely important. But our scented, um, <clears throat> our sprays that we use, our pads, our sanitary pads and our tampons, we need to really take a look at what we're using in that area because this is a vulnerable part of our body and it's at the root of where yeast infection starts. Again, my goal is to provide simple solutions that work. It does no good to state a problem and not offer solutions. I'm not about that. So what sometimes does irritate me is that, that people talk about awareness of things, being aware of things, and then they're like, but I don't know how to do it, or the, or the solution is so complicated. And part of Tracy's arsenal, my, your battle plan for better health, is to give you simple solutions that can dramatically change and, and also that aren't as costly as most solutions. You know, one of the biggest issues that I found in helping families with their health is that some of the solutions are so complicated that the average mom just throws her hands up and says, I can't do this. But moms, I have to challenge you. It is time that you make these changes. Let's talk about hysterectomies. Um, thousands of, of hysterectomies are being performed every year, and 90% of them are, form, are performed on women due to fibroids or endometriosis, which can be treated in other ways than surgery. And the removal of the ovaries is commonly done during a hysterectomy, even when nothing is wrong with the ovaries. This is information that you need to know. A hysterectomy is typically done because a woman goes in with fibroid tumors, excessive bleeding, abdominal pain, and rather than getting to the root of what's causing this issue, the doctors, the medical world, want to immediately suggest a hysterectomy or very quickly suggest a hysterectomy rather than getting to the root of the problem. And so, the American College of Obstetrician and Gyne Gynecologists indicated that for women under 50, the proportion of women who have this done rose from 26 to 40 six percent in 2012. I'll repeat that. It, it, it more than doubled. The number of women under 50 having hysterectomies doubled in 2012. Wow. That's a problem. There's money in the disease. There's money in the surgery. There's no way around it, ladies. So you have to take control of your own health and the health of your children, the health of your daughters. This is important. Knowledge is power. When we have knowledge, there's power. We can make decisions based on facts, not fear. And when we go to the doctor and they tell us we need to do a hysterectomy, unless you have the knowledge of, wait a minute, why is that? And, oh, let me tell you this fact. This is going to really make you mad. If you're really hearing what I'm saying today, this should make you really angry. Righteous anger is important, and it's time for us to do that. It's time for us to rise up, moms. It's time. I told you that typically when, when a woman has a hysterectomy, they also want to remove the woman's ovary. And the reason they want to remove your ovaries, they say, is so that, you, they can help prevent ovarian cancer. That makes no sense at all. There's nothing wrong with the ovaries, and yet they're removing our body parts to prevent cancer of that body part. That makes no sense at all. Of course, if you remove the ovaries, you reduce the risk of ovarian cancer. But if you remove the kidneys, you reduce the risk of kidney cancer. Am I right? It, it, it makes no sense, and there's money there, and whether we like it or not, 
where there's money, there's going to be some, some, some things that aren't, some decisions that are made about your health that may not be the best for you, but it may be the best for someone else. And that's where, that's where I get mad. One in three women have a hysterectomy. Unnecessarily, 90% of hysterectomies are unnecessary. They can be treated, the symptoms can be treated with uh, some simple things. Only a small percentage of the hysterectomies that are done today in America are done because of cancer. Again, it's mostly related to menstrual cycle issues, excessive bleedings, pain, fibroid tumors, which are all on the rise. Most hysterectomies are done to halt heavy menstrual bleeding or stop pelvic pain. Wow. There is evidence linking a, having a hysterectomy with increased risk of heart disease. There's money in our disease, ladies. Again, we have to take control. We have to stop the madness. Fibroid tumors, let's talk about them. I didn't know that much about them. I've done a lot of research about them over the last 90 days from some reputable sources. And fibroid tumors are most commonly uh, happen in our bodies during reproductive years. The symptoms of fibroid tumors include backache, excessive bleeding, longer cycles, heavy painful periods, fertility problems, pregnancy problems, and repeated miscarriages. So when a woman has a fibroid tumor, those are some of the symptoms. She goes in and instead of finding the root of the fibroid tumor, the doctor immediately says, there's nothing we can do for you. Uh, let's do a hysterectomy. Now, one of the things that they might suggest that you do prior to the hysterectomy is get on birth control pills. That is one of their solutions. Get on birth control pills. Because what it, birth control pills do, one of the side effects is that it reduces the cycle time, it reduces the blood flow, and it somewhat reduces the menstrual cramping. But is it the right thing for our 12-year-old girls? Is it the right thing for a, 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 a young girl who's not sexually active yet to be put on birth control pills as a um, solution to these problems? I don't think so. I don't think so. Fibroid tumors develop when estrogen levels are high and more likely to develop when a woman is taking birth control pills. Are you kidding me? It is a vicious cycle and we have to get out of it. It's a vicious cycle. I'm gonna repeat myself. Fibroid tumors develop when estrogen levels are high and more likely to develop when a woman is taking birth control pills. So if a young girl goes in to the doctor complaining of excessive pain with her period and cycle, and she's put on birth control pills, now she has a higher risk of fibroid tumors. Again, moms, let's stop the madness. Let's talk about toxic shock syndrome. In May of 2016, Dr. McCola wrote, TSS has increased five times over in recent months, in May of 2016. A French investigation revealed dioxin, pesticides, and insecticides in 11 brands of tampons and pads. Now, I have not had to deal with sanitary pads over the past 10 years, and I'm grateful for that. But I do have a granddaughters, three of them right now, that are coming up who will one day need sanitary pads. So this is something that really hit home with me and I began to think about what is it that's causing the rise in all of these issues. It's the chemicals that we've come into contact with. The ingredients in most tampons and sanitary pads deregulate gene and hormone expansion expression. As a result, TSS, fibroid tumors, hysterectomies, and ovary removal is on the rise. Cramping and heavy bleeding during menstrual cycle is also at an extreme high, and one of the first thing modern doctors do is prescribe those birth control pills. I don't have time, um, I'm running out of time, and I wanna just really, I want you to Google Lauren Wasser. It, she's a, a, a beautiful model who in 2012 almost died from toxic shock syndrome. She did end up losing her leg to it, and you spell it L-A-U-R-E-N-W-A-S-S-E-R, Lauren Wasser. She 
almost lost her life, but she did lose her leg below the knee. She was very embarrassed by the whole thing. You know, these things that I'm talking about are not things that in my generation we talked about at all, but definitely not something a young model wants to, you know, be connected with. But when she lost her leg to TSS, she decided after she fully recovered that she wanted to come out and share this information with other young girls. So they'd never have to suffer the way she did. And she started exposing the toxins that are in tampons. She started talking about TSS. And it came out in Vogue magazine just a few months ago with her photos. Um, uh, and she's still a model, and I'm, I'm proud of what she's done and the mission that she's uh, started. So we are in a vicious cycle. The manufacturers of tampons and sanitary pads are not required to disclose the ingredients used because uh, feminine hygiene products are considered medical devices and contents are proprietary. So because of that, tampon and sanitary pad manufacturers can put anything they want to in their pads, and believe me, they do. They want to make them cheaply and expensively as possible, and the way to do that is to uh, use uh, substandard uh, products like wood chips, plastics, recycled paper, and because of that, they have to actually, they feel that they have to bleach them. And the bleaching emits that chemical that I mentioned earlier called dioxin. Dioxin is a deadly chemical that should never come into contact with our body. And yet when a young girl is 8, 10 to 12 years old and she starts her period, a mom will go out and help her buy those sanitary pads and um, without any knowledge that there's a deadly chemical that's actually poisoning us over a period of our lifetime. Deoxin is absorbed into the bloodstream of our girls and our women within 28 seconds in the bloodstream. It's a deadly chemical, small doses of it over a period of 10 years, 20 years, with the result in a weakened immune system. And this dioxin never leaves our body. It's actually stored in our fatty cells. It's linked to infertility, hormonal imbalances, and birth defects. All of the things that we're dealing with today. Worse yet, these deadly chemicals are being found in the umbilical cords of our babies and in the bloodstream of newborns. We are now have a generation of babies that are being born with compromised immune systems, not just from dioxin, but it's a major source because on, a, on every single month, uh, our girls are being bombarded with this chemical that is being board, uh, stored in our fetish cells and then delivered through the umbilical cord into our babies. This is the first generation of babies that is actually being born with um, a weakened immune system. Again, their only defense against disease, a weakened immune system, a strong immune system. Ladies, the toxicity in all of our bodies is on the rise. And what we could get by with back in the 70s and 80s, we can no longer get by with today. We need to take a look at everything, everything that we put on and in our bodies, and especially in that area where it's so vulnerable, so um, absorbent. You know, the, the area of, of where we wear sanitary pads is one of the most absorbent areas of our body. And within 28 seconds, it's not just those chemicals are not just in our blood, our, 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 our body, but in our bloodstream, all over our body. And it's stored in our fatty cells to protect us against it until we get pregnant. So what I teach with generational health is on reducing our exposure to the chemicals in our foods, the chemicals in our lotions and our makeup, the chemicals in our feminine hygiene products. Until now, there really hasn't been a very good solution for our feminine hygiene products. It was when I was sitting in the uh, demonstration for the Cherish Pad by Inspire that I was blown away by what they were sharing. Now, yes, there have been other non-chemical, chemical-free sanitary pads on the market for quite some time. But what I found about these in doing my research is that most of them don't absorb. They don't work. And so girls typically will go to tampons earlier on and tampons, no matter what they're made of, are still not healthy for us because they plug and stop the flow of the toxins from our body. And, 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 and the toxins are just sitting there in that vulnerable area of our body and being reabsorbed. 
reabsorbing our own toxins is not a good thing, and that's why TSS is on the rise. So girls go from pads to tampons much earlier on, yet women, what I found in my research is that women in other countries have had better options. They've had a chemical-free uh, sanitary pad that actually works, that actually absorbs. Um, when I saw, again, the Cherish Pad by Inspire, that's one of the reasons that right away I was not looking to partner with another company. I wasn't looking, well, I'm always looking for solutions. I'm always looking for products. But when I saw this one, I knew that this was something that I had to stand uh, next to. I had to, I had to fight for. I had to fight for this information to get out. And I really believed that this one simple product could make a huge difference in the health of our women. And when we make a huge difference in the health of our women, we're the ones that are having babies. We're the ones that are, you know, uh, the hope for the next generation. Our women, ages 25 or 20 years old to 40 years old, these women that are having our babies, they are our hope for the next generation. So in March of 2017, this year, over 20,000 packages of the Cherish Pad by Inspire was sold, and thousands of testimonies came back for us. And I'm going to share what the ingredients are that makes it different in the Cherish Pad and a quick, quick, quick absorption demo in just two, two minutes here. Watch. So with the 20,000 Cherish Pads that were sold, thousands of testimonies came back. Now, first of all, I definitely want to do this disclaimer. Inspire, Cherish, Generational Health, the American Anti-Cancer Institute, and anyone affiliated, we don't claim to cure or heal any disease. But what we do know is that when we have a strong immune system and when we lessen the amount of chemicals that are being put into contact with our body, and when we add something that's going to strengthen the immune system, our body is miraculous. It knows what to do. I'm talking about the prevention of things like yeast infections, fibroid tumors, which lead to bigger diseases. So there's no one talking about curing or healing anything here. We're talking about awareness and some solutions. The testimonies that came back from women using the Cherish brand uh, sanitary pad was that it, it reduced their cycle time by one to two days. It reduced the normal, from a heavy blood flow to a normal blood flow. You know, a woman's really cycle time should be really two days, maybe three max, and yet women are having cycles that are lasting five, seven days, heavy, heavy bleeding. It's because of the hormonal disruption that's going on, the toxicity in our environment. The women also said that it reduced the blood flow, which was good, that there was no odor when using our pad. I'm going to share why in just a moment. And the biggest thing is that they were able to stay dry for hours and hours. And a lot of times you've got women, girls that are in school. If they're sitting there for th three to four to six hours wearing a, a tampon, that is not healthy. And if they're sitting there using a sanitary pad that doesn't work, they're fearful of leaking. So we need something that is healthier but works. And I, I believe we found it with the Cherish Sanitary Pad. Why did all these testimonies come to the forefront? Well, because the Cherish Pad is chemical free. Because it has a negative ion strip. It has a top layer of cotton up against our bodies, which is hugely important, remember? It has airflow that, that actually allows air to flow into that area, which is awesome but it has this powerful negative ion strip, which if you Google negative ions, you'll find that it boosts the immune system, it helps with hormonal balance, it helps with pH balance, it's anti-inflammatory, it fights against infection, and it reduces unwanted odor. Really, really huge. Most important, the pad works. And actually, I'm gonna show you uh, right here the difference between a regular name brand sanitary pad that most likely has chemicals and all of those things we talked about and the Cherish Pad. So I'm going to bring the camera down now. Let's see if I can do this to show you that I've already got it set up. I want you to take a look at this. This is so powerful. This is the brand name pad. And what I've done is I've poured 50 milliliters of water on this, this brand name pad. And as I'm feeling it, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, it's bubbling up water. And I poured the same amount on the Cherish pad right here. It is dry to the touch. Now I'm going to show you with paper towels. They're both dry. Check this out. And I love this because 
What I also know is that we should never come into contact with our own toxins, ladies, that are being re released from our own bodies. Check out the difference. The brand pad is actually soaking wet, uh, the paper towel, and the Cherish pad is dry. But I'm going to really put it to the test because so many times we're sitting in uh, our classrooms or we're a teacher or we're a nurse and we can't change our pads. So I've got 90 milliliters of water uh, to add to both of these pads. And I'm going to do that right now. And, of course, this is way more than the average woman would release, and it's going to flood both of these pads. But I want you to see the difference in the Cherish absorption and the brand name absorption. This is huge. I'm going uh, to go two minutes over to finish this, um, this uh, demo and show you this. While I'm allowing it to soak up a little bit, I'm going to show you the difference also in size. The Cherish pad is very thin. And, and soft cotton, layer of cotton, the branding pads are bulky. That's another reason girls change. Now, what I'm going to uh, change from pads to tampons. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch them and show you something. So the um, Cherish pad is a little bit damp. You can imagine 150 milliliters of water. But let me show you the brand pad. With 150, right at 150 milliliters of water, it's just soaking wet. It does no good. But I'm going to pick up the Cherish pad and watch what happens. Look at the difference. This is amazing. The Cherish pad is virtually dry compared to the uh, brand pad. This is amazing. After childbirth, a woman bleeds profusely. And this negative ion strip is so powerful. I'm going to do the um, paper towel test again. Watch this, ladies. You're going to be blown away by this. I'm so excited about this. I can hardly stand it. You will not believe what happens. Check it out. The brand pad is soaking wet. The Cherish pad virtually dry, dry. And the Cherish pad actually absorbs 300 times its weight in liquid. Ten times, I believe that's a low estimate, ten times better than any other pad on the market. Even after blotting it, it's still soaking wet. The Cherish pad, no water coming out, no leaking. I love that. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at changing your sanitary feminine hygiene products. I want you to take a look at uh, trying the Cherish pad. We have Cherish liners. We have the day pad, we have a night pad, and an overnight. Get back with the person that shared this video with you. There are so many women and men who have linked arms with the mission of Inspire. They are excited about what we can do for the next generation of women. They're excited about what we can do for the next generation of babies. We have to stop the madness. We have to do something different. And this, to me, is the simplest solution that I've found to really impact the health, the, 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 uh, the, the menstrual cycle health uh, of a woman. And when we do that, we change the health of the next generation. We change the health of the babies. Another thing I love about the Cherish Pad is that when you compare the absorbency to the brand pads, now you're actually paying the same amount that you're already paying for feminine hygiene products. You know, we could charge triple the amount for this Cherish pad, but it's virtually the same amount for the, for the amount of products that you use. But get with the person that shared this video with you because they're mission driven, because they care about you. They care about the women in their lives. Many of them have dealt with some things that, um, that really, uh, you know, that, that we've talked about. Many of them de have dealt with unnecessary hysterectomies. Many of them have dealt with fibroid tumors, ovarian cysts, and, and they don't want that to happen for you. There are fathers who've partnered with us in this mission, and they have daughters and family that and, and women in their lives that they cherish and care about. Our mission is now we know. Now that we know about the toxicity and the products that we use, we have to say no. So I'm excited, and I will be back next Monday at the same time, and we're going to continue to talk about toxicity. We're going to talk about the toxicity in other products that we use and the, the products that we use to clean our homes with, the products that we use. Um, you know, we'll be talking about makeup. We'll be talking about 
fragrances, all of these things that we have to stop, we have to think about in the world we live in today. No longer can we allow our health to be in the hands of other people. It has to be in the, in the health of, in, in the hands of ourselves. And I say, let's link arms. Let's do what we need to do. Let's get our heads out of the sand. Let's stand up on our soapbox and say, not on my watch. So this has been Tracy Randall with Tracy's Arsenal, Arsenal, your bet, your battle plan for better health. So bye everybody. Be sure and share this video. Be sure and tag moms.